Hello and welcome! In this tutorial video, we're going to demonstrate our AI unsupervised module, Anomaly of Surface, where the only user input is to classify images as OK. It is suitable especially for recurring pattern projects and high defect variability. To start training your dataset, you can either add images or add folders. We've already added OK, Not Good, Training and Testing prefixes to each image. If you wish to add a prefix within PayCap Vision, add each folder individually and type a prefix once you have selected the target folder. Now we're going to open the Modules menu to add the Preprocess module. Preprocess module has several tools to assist in improving images quality, accuracy, and reducing training time. We will demonstrate these tools in a separate tutorial video. In this example, in order to highlight only the region of interest, we are going to use the preprocess module to crop images. You can increase values in pixels to crop images and verify the preview of processing until you are satisfied with the results. In order to configure your dataset for training, now we are going to add the Anomaly of Surface module and navigate to the module's training tab. As Anomaly of Surface is an unsupervised AI module, there is no need for drawing annotations. You can simply select at least 10 images and classify them as OK or either set by file name. We can now click on Start Training. We recommend selecting Fast Training first, which is advised for fast and initial training results. Then at a later stage, Deep Training can be used to deliver more precise results. It usually takes only a couple of seconds or minutes to complete, depending on your dataset size and resolution. Once training is completed, we select the model to validate it and click on Preview to verify the results. Before the results are displayed, we need to calculate model's sensitivity. We are going to set by file name, adding the test dataset prefix for OK and not good images, then click on Submit. Once sensitivity has been calculated, it should automatically select the best sensitivity value for your dataset. If automatic sensitivity is not reflecting the best results, you can select a value from the graph as close as possible to 100 for not good and OK, which means 100% or less are identified correctly. In order to verify how well the model performed, we are going to apply a filter to display only test images. OK images are marked with a green ribbon and no heat maps, while not good images are marked with red ribbon and precise heat maps on defective areas. The final step is the report section, where you are able to verify the model's statistics and download a report. In order to preview statistics results, we are going to classify images as OK or not good, or either set images by file name, then click on Show Results button. The model statistics are displayed with a confusion matrix, predicted versus actual, displaying also figures for recall, precision, average processing time, minimum processing time, and maximum processing time. To download the HTML report, click on Download Report and open the HTML file. Thank you for watching.